Hey, did you put up the posters for our book club, Luigi? Oh, of course, Mario. I put them up all over town. People should be showing up any minute now. Great job. Now, do you have your book? Well, uh, kinda. Hello, Sweetie in the chat. I mean, I started a book, but I didn't have enough time to finish it before the club starts. Well, that's okay, Luigi. We can just talk about the parts you've read up to. R read? What do you mean, oh Mario? My God. <laughs> this is actually playing out like one of the episodes. <laughs> It's quite I was scary. gonna say, that seems very much like the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, except the visual novel. Yeah, it's very faithful. What do you mean, what do you mean? This is a book club, Luigi. You read a book and then we talk about it together as a club. Oh, oh. <laughs> the images are very good. <laughs> I thought we had a writer book for the book club. No, Luigi, if this was a book writing club, it'd have a fancy name, like... I don't know. Big fancy book writing club or something. Insert laugh track. <laughs> yeah, it would absolutely have a laugh track there. And like a, one quietly going at all times I seem to notice. Well, hey, what's your book about anyways? Maybe you could talk about that instead. Okay then. I call it The Brave Plumber. It's about a plumber living in Brooklyn who gets sucked down the train and ends up in a magical kingdom. Oh, an autobiography. Oh yeah, apparently. He then has to find the golden monkey wrench, which will give him the power to save the kingdom from an evil ruler. That's a pretty out there idea, Luigi. I mean, we fixed about every drain in the city, and we haven't even found a single magical kingdom. Sounds like an interesting story, though. You could absolutely talk about it at the book club. There's just one problem, though. I have no idea what to do for the ending. A good story isn't complete without a good ending. I'm curious what the gameplay is going to be for this. Very... Is there gameplay? I hope so. Well, don't worry about it. Maybe someone who comes from the club will be able to help you. Knock, knock. Oh, <laughs> special guest star has appeared. What? That must be someone now. Hello. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready for just a guy to appear. Hello, is this the book club? I'm in town for a holiday, and I saw a poster with this address on it. This is your chance, Luigi. Do you know who this guy is? I don't. I this don't is... either. <laughs> this is John LeCar. <laughs> He's a big time writer from the UK. I've never heard of this man. <laughs> he goes on yeah, you're list. the one who should know of all people, and it's just like, who? My video made it clear I do not know celebrities from pre-80s. <laughs> anyway. Wow, it's a pleasure to meet you, John. Uh, thanks for coming to our club. Hey, Cody Jones, what up? I'm Luigi, and this is my brother, Mario. The pleasure is all mine, Luigi. I also enjoy meeting fellow book lovers. Now, it sounds like there's something you would like my help with. Well, you see, John, I've actually been working on a book of my own, but I'm having trouble coming up with a good ending. I wouldn't want to take too much time out of your vacation or anything, but I'd really appreciate it if you could give me some advice. Well, I could never say no to someone who is passionate about writing, so I'd be more than happy to take a look at what you've got and give you some pointers. Please be like a poetry sharing thing. Really? Oh gosh. <laughs> That's great. Here's what I have so far. Hey, well, <laughs> wait. <laughs> what was that? That transition was great. <laughs> Luigi just moonwalking up the screen. <laughs> All right, okay. Hey, while those two are working on the book, why don't you watch the cartoon? Oh my god, what? it actually transitions into the cartoon like the shine. Oh my god. <laughs> <coughs> Holy shit. All right. Plumber's Luck, number 2019. I was searched to find a way for Luigi and I to get back to Brooklyn and taken us to the far off region of Doki Land. Oh my god. But what we ended up finding was an adventure unlike any we'd ever been on. Well, this place sure is different <laughs> than what we're used to. Yeah, I don't think we've ever traveled this far away from the Mushroom Kingdom Why before. Why is she so much bigger than Luigi? Why what? is she so much bigger than Luigi? <laughs> That's a very good question. 
<laughs> and I have no answer for it. <laughs> I don't. Oh no! <laughs> the buildings what? here are so weird looking. They 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 kind of look a bit like the buildings from back home. Maybe we're close to finally finding a way back to Brooklyn. Gee, that'd be nice. I feel like we've been searching for decades. Ah, uh, I get it. It's an old show. I can't wait to taste the traditional New York bagel again after all this time. Don't get your hopes up yet, Luigi. We still don't know what we're actually looking for. And for all we know, King Cooper could be here as well. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I hope he is. I, want... I do too. I've never hoped for something more. <laughs> I want Bowser and Monica to meet so bad. We <laughs> cross over the century. We need to stay focused and keep an eye out for any traps. Come on, princess. When was the last time that Koopa Clown learned any new tricks? We can take anything he throws at us. Yeah, his plans are old as Gramps' jokes. Yeah, you're probably right. Just be careful, okay? We don't know anything about this place. There could be Koopa Troopers right around the corner. Ah! Someone help! I do not know who that is. Question, question, question. <laughs> Sounds like you might be right, princess. Come on, we'd better check this out. <laughs> Leaping lasagna! Those Koopa Troopers have cornered that girl! <laughs> Please, help me! We gotta save her, Mario! Oh, okay, you get choice now. Don't worry, oh. Toad. I know exactly what to do in this situation. Do I use pasta power? Pasta power or get Luigi to get him? <laughs> I'll let you make the choices, Iris. <laughs> I, I, I think pasta power. I just want to see what happens with pasta power. It's time for some pasta power. These losers are no match for my world famous super jump. That's not pasta power. <laughs> hop, hop, hops on him. Ha! Two Koopa Troopers down for the count. Are you okay, miss? I... 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 <laughs> I couldn't have been ready for that. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you so much! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, carry, carry on. Bad that. <laughs> <laughs> the Yumi. <image>. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> the, those things started showing up this morning. I've been trying to avoid them, but those ones trapped me. Mario Kun. <laughs> In the chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't know what I would have done if you didn't save me. What would have happened if I sent Luigi in? <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, I just choked on my coffee. <sighs> god, okay. Oh god. Cody, if you've not actually played DDLC, this might have spoilers in it. I'm going to warn you up front. DDLC yeah, we have is no, very good. I don't think either of us have any idea like what, what to expect in this game. So Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a mod, clearly. <laughs> yeah, my <coughs> name's Sayori. It's nice to meet you all. But who are you guys anyway? I've never seen outfits like yours before. Especially not your cute little... Is he some kind of mushroom guy? <laughs> Good question. Oh no. What is he? Hey! I'm not <laughs> just some mushroom guy! Us turns are a proud race! Aw, I'm so, so... I'm sorry if I upset you. I've never met a toad before. <laughs> the chat is <laughs> popping today. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, carry on. Or, or at least not the mushroomy kind. <laughs> so what's your name, little guy? Toad! <laughs> just... just Toad? <laughs> yep, just Toad. And you're a Toad. That's how it works! Are all Toad's names Toad? Come on! Why don't you gotta make a big deal out of this? I I'm sorry, I was just curious. Sorry about Toad. He gets kinda grumpy when you call him cute or little. Or Toad. 
or toad, apparently. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I have a friend who's the same way. Oh, my oh God. no. Oh, my God. Toad and Natsuki. <laughs> I hope they get along really well. <laughs> my name is Princess Toadstool. Toad and I are from the Mushroom Kingdom. What? Like an actual princess princess? Oh my gosh, I've never met royalty before! My hair's a total mess! Oh, Sayori. I should have put on something nicer before getting attacked this morning! <laughs> Priorities. Yeah. Hold on a second. I'm not really big on the whole etiquette thing, so you don't need to act formal around me or anything. Especially after what you've just gone through. Okay then, sorry for freaking out a bit. It's fine, Sayori. What's important right now is that you're feeling okay. Anyway, I'm Mario, and here is my brother, Luigi. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Linguini. <laughs> <laughs> is everyone okay with going to this literature club? I mean, I don't see why not, especially if someone might know how to get to Brooklyn. And besides, it can't possibly be worse than the time we went to Rapland! Oh god, I watched that episode. Oh no! <laughs> oh, it was bad. <laughs> Toad, we all agreed we would never talk about that again. <laughs> but more importantly, it looks like King Cooper is up to no good again, and we can't just leave Sayori and her friends to fend for themselves. If we go to the club with her, we might be able to find out what he's doing and put a stop to it. I guess it's settled then. Just in time too. Here she comes now. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> they're all next to each other. I don't think I can take it. I don't think my heart can take it. Hey, Sayori. <laughs> oh God, here we go. If we leave now, I'll still be able to make second period. This looks like Salty Beck. <laughs> uh, hold on just a second. We don't look anything like students. How are we going to be allowed in the school? Don't worry. If anyone asks, I'll just tell them you're my cousins from out of town. I love how the framing just has Luigi jamming Toad <laughs> in the face. <laughs> Toad is visibly discomforted. <laughs> Amazing. This is peak fiction, absolutely. Oh, gosh. I'm really sorry, but we actually do need to get back to our classes, so we'll have to save the proper introductions for this afternoon. There are some books in the closet you can read so you won't get bored, but don't touch any of the manga or Natsuki will go really mad. I hope this game has a point where Monica just like turns and addresses us like, What the fuck did you do to the game? What the fuck did you do? <laughs> okay, guys, see you in a few hours. <laughs> the girls leave the club room. Leaving Mario on his own. Hey, Mario! What's a manga? <laughs> I don't know, Toad. I think I've heard of it before. It's like a uh, fruit or something. <laughs> you hard of hearing or something? She said manga, not mango. I know. I was just trying to make a joke to lighten the mood, you know. Well, oh, well, it wasn't a very good joke, Luigi. You should come up with some more original material next time. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you're right. Oh, Mario, hush. Anyway, I'm gonna check the closet. I'll let you know if I find any funny jokes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> There's something bugging me, Mario. Sayori said she spoke to that Monica girl on the way here, but we didn't stop at a phone booth or nothing. I was wondering- Oh shit. Oh yeah. Did they time travel too? <laughs> I was wondering about that too. Did anyone notice her do anything weird on the way here? Well, while you two were busy arguing about pasta sauce, she pulled this small black box out of her bag and started tapping on it. I, it might be some kind of high-tech communication device. Oh my god, they don't know what mobile phones are! Time travel. <laughs> they don't know what mobile phones are! They're from the 80s! From the That's 80s. what happened! Yeah. Well, technology <laughs> sure is amazing, eh, Mario? I'll say, if we had something like that back in Brooklyn, we could have ordered a pizza while we were out on a job. 
Yeah, that's the idea, Mario. Yep. Hey, guys! Come check this out! Oh, God. There isn't any fruit in here, but check out these crazy comic books I found! What's so crazy about them? They're all printed backwards, so you have to read from right <laughs> to left! That is pretty unusual. What are they about, anyway? It looks like it's about some friends who use the power of food to fight evil or something like that. Food? Like my pasta power or something? Nah, these guys use ice cream and candy and stuff. It looks pretty interesting, so I'm going to read these while we wait for the club to start. <laughs> oh my Cardi. god. <laughs> Cardi, why? <laughs> I'd, I'd happily forgotten about that! <laughs> Why, Cody? Slam dunk. Oh, God. Okay, then. We'll take a look at the other books here and leave you to it. Just leave Toad to read all the manga. <laughs> oh, no. Who touched my manga?! <laughs> oh! These are the things that Monica said not to touch! <laughs> Ew! Who gave you permission to touch my stuff? Oh, God. How was I supposed to know these were yours? I didn't even know what a manga was! That's supposed to make everything okay? You might be Sayori's family, but that doesn't mean you get to go through people's things. <laughs> <laughs> um, Natsuki, I think you need to calm down. <laughs> Vorzak's just confused. <laughs> Come on, Toad. Maybe we can talk about... You stay out of this! <laughs> you stay out of this. I'm not about to... I'm not about to just let some weird tiny man just walk into this club and mess with my stuff. <laughs> weird tiny oh, man. because you're so much taller than I am! <laughs> Exclamation point! <laughs> well, well, at least I'm not some costume loser! Well, let's be honest, you're not gonna be getting on the cover of Toad You magazine anytime soon! I have no clue what you're talking about, but there's no way I can shoot with you because of that diaper you're wearing! <laughs> Shit, got him! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki, these guys aren't really her cousins. <laughs> Sorry, I just noticed in the chat. DDLC DLC. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. They saved her this morning. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> All right, there's a few typos. I'm not, I'm not gonna give. Um, it's fine. I'm not gonna give K2 much grief. She's already made a fantastic product that I love. <laughs> she really has. Yeah. W what? Is this true? Yeah! She was getting at attacked by Koopa Troopers, so we got rid of them! <laughs> dot dot dot. Sayori, why didn't you tell us you'd gone through something like that? Well, I was fine in the end, so I didn't want anyone to worry about me. But what if something did happen? You should have told us. We are your friends, Sayori. You don't need to be afraid to tell us about things like this. This is a very wholesome episode of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. <laughs> <laughs> dot dot dot. You guys are right. I should have told you. Can you forgive me? Aww. Of course. Just keep in mind that we will always be here to talk to. You see, uh, Toad and I come from the Mushroom Kingdom, but Mario and Luigi are from Brooklyn. Of course. You mean like Brooklyn, New York? That's exactly it. You wouldn't know how to get there, would you? Sorry, but I only heard about it recently. I'm not sure if it's even possible to get there from here. Take a plane. <laughs> I was gonna say. Or maybe she, but then again, maybe she means within guys... the constraints of DDLC, we could not get to Brooklyn. <laughs> Monica does know. <clears throat> oh, hello, Toon Pirate. Welcome, welcome to the Super Mario <laughs> Brothers Super Literature Club. 
That's right. Even if it's only temporary, you're all members of the literature club now. That is a worrying thing to hear from Monica. <laughs> I hope you all enjoy your time here. Oh, God. Well, gee, thanks, Monica. I guess I should find another book to read while I'm here. Come on, Luigi. I'll help you find a good one. Oh, I really expected to, um, her from getting his name wrong to be a running gag. Ah, oh, I think she's got it now. Everyone, Everyone moves, moves Oh, what a Up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone moves off to different parts of the club room. So, Mario, do you guys have any experience writing poetry? Oh my god, I hope so! <laughs> Please. Poetry? That's a pretty strange thing to ask. Actually, there's something I wanted to ask you. Oh, well, I. Da, da, da. Oh, that mushroom thing. Is that actually your head or is it just a hat? Good question. Look! It's safer for everyone, but it stays a secret. It's absolutely a hat. <laughs> He's used it as a parachute. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so great to see everyone getting along. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> you know, David, when you first installed this mod, I thought it, it'd be really dumb, but it's actually a lot of fun. Yeah, she. there's no fourth wall for Monica. <laughs> Don't worry, though. I made a deal with the mod author. I'm going to go along with their little story. But I get to have some fun afterwards. Hee hee hee. I am not okay with that promise. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. Oh no. It's gonna be good. Hold on Hold just on. a second. Oh. Mod? Author? What are you talking about, Monica? And who the heck is David? <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about somebody else. Oh, Jesus. Oh, look at the time. We better get everyone together. Monica walks to the center of the club room. Okay, everyone. It's almost time to head home, so we need to figure out how we're doing this thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'll never not be funny. Keep going. <laughs> Whatever do you mean? Well, we have to assume that those Koopa Troopers are still out there, so we need to decide who's going home with who. Ooh, I guess I don't have any other option, do I? Oh god, is Princess Peach gonna see her knife collection? Oh no. Oh no. Sure, my dad's on a business trip this week, so there shouldn't be any issues. We can even take Parfait Girls home with us. Perfect. <laughs> don't worry, Monica. Both... What? Mm. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um... Uh, even... Okay. Okay. I, I, I'm guessing a character was just misnamed. Um, don't worry, Monica. Both Mario and Luigi are going home with you. Oh, yeah. I think she's addressing Sayori. Okay. What? Mario and Leguizamo? Leguizamo? <laughs> oh, my <laughs> fucking God. You know what? What a reference. Close with that one. Close enough. I'll give you that one. <laughs> Is this about dinner, Sayori? Of course! Yep. Of fucking course! Yep. Of course! Yeah, is pizza delivery okay with you two? Well, actually, I've got a better idea. Since you're letting us stay at your place, we're gonna cook you up a special fucking Mario hell. Brothers style dinner! Eh? Uh, are you sure? I wouldn't want to put you. I wouldn't want to put you out or anything. It's the least we could do. So just sit back and let us handle the grub. Luigi, check the kitchen to see what we got to work with. I'm on it, bro. Luigi starts methodically rummaging through the cupboards. Thanks for this, guys. It's actually been a while since I've had a proper home-cooked meal. Doesn't she have parents? I think so. Hmm. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure she has parents. No, she um, does. or... Does not or have at least motivation like, to eat proper food or eat dinner. Okay, uh, that's a good point. Um, it's usually easier for me to just make toast or order takeout instead. Well, it's a good thing we're here then. We'll serve up a meal you'll never forget. Good news, Mario. 
The only thing I found were a large pile of uncooked pasta, a sack of tomatoes, and a container filled with miscellaneous herbs and garnishes. By some I really right hope it was labeled miscellaneous herbs and garnishes. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely need to keep one of those in my cupboard. By some miraculous coincidence, we have exactly the ingredients we need to make the Mario Brothers style spaghetti and meatballs. Is that o is that okay with you, Sayori? Ooh, yes please! I love spaghetti! This is so goddamn wholesome. <laughs> but wait, how are you gonna make the meatballs without any meat? Eh, we usually just squash balls of oregano together until they have a meat-like texture. No one can tell the difference. Oh. That sounds so terrible. <laughs> you just sit back and we'll get to work. Sure thing, let me know when it's ready. Okay, let's get cooking. You know it, Mario. I think we're pretty- I think we're pretty much done, Luigi. Yeah, I just gotta add the final touches. Luigi pours the pasta sauce over one of the plates and moves on to the next. Whoa! What are you doing? I'm adding the pasta sauce, Mario! Oh no you don't! You know how I feel about pasta sauce, Luigi! What? But Mario, what about Sayori? She'll want sauce on her pasta! How do you know she likes pasta sauce in the first place? Because you're the only person I know who eats their spaghetti without sauce! It's statistically unlikely, Mario! <laughs> what? Come on, Luigi! It's gonna get cold at this rate! Well, we gotta decide something. Do I add the sauce or not? Give him the sauce! <laughs> oh, don't give him the sauce! <laughs> give him the sauce! <laughs> For a sec! Luigi, you know I eat my pasta raw! <laughs> crunch it out of the bag! <laughs> crunch, crunch! <laughs> That's the real pasta power! You win, Luigi! Add the sauce! Good choice! I'm telling you that she'll love it! Luigi pours the pasta sauce over Sayori's plate. Yo, Sayori! The food is... Yay! Spaghetti time! Ha ha ha! Someone's hungry! You bet! <laughs> it's been so long since I've had a meal like this! <laughs> Just... Pasta with balls of oregano. Oh my god. Let's sit down I again. <laughs> I hope she's never had this before. Well, let's sit down and get started. Everyone sits down at the table. Okay, guys, dig in. Um. <laughs> um. Oh, dot, hello. dot, dot. Oh, no. Is everything okay? Do you... Oh, she likes it! <laughs> she likes- yeah. she likes the sauce! She's very happy with the sauce! Whoa! <laughs> Calm down, Sayori! I think we get it! No, if we don't get it, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I could hit, hit the history up. There we go. <laughs> I'm not gonna make you read all of this, but... She also called Luigi <laughs> Lemmy! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> this is the best day of my life! Even better that day that Natsuki taught me how to tap! <laughs> I want to see this! <laughs> Do we really gotta write poems, Mario? Yes. It can't hurt to at least try. They're letting us stay in the club room after all. Well, I guess I could give it a shot. Might even be fun. Let's get to work then. Please, 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 oh, please. Oh God, please, please share please, that please, poem the please, next day. Please, please, I'll be so please, excited. Please. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <It's> amazing! <laughs> All right, um, what are we gonna go for? You say the words. Per uh, Perry. That's for Peach, yep. Star Festival. Uh, Understudy. Oh, okay. Uh, pink. Are we gonna aim for Peach, generally? Uh, I guess so. Okay. Um, a star? Oh, oh. okay. That was Toad. <laughs> Absolutely nothing! <laughs> <That's hilarious. laughs> Cake. Cake. There we are. Break Light free? free? <laughs> Break free? <laughs> must what? Be Luigi's. Jesus, that's... <laughs> Are we getting okay. like, light trip or uh, break free? Bake. Hmm? Oh, bake. bake. Yes. There we are. 
Um, do we, 2401? Luigi, apparently! <laughs> when? Okay. Um, kiss. Okay, that'll be Peach. Crown? Um, crown, yeah. Prosciutto. No, um, Brooklyn, Pink Sweden. gold. Pink gold. Pink gold Peach, yes. Red hair. Prince Peasley! Oh, that's for Luigi. <laughs> okay, I think that Luigi's are probably the more nonsense ones then. Well, that um, one's uh, Superstar Saga, Prince Peasley and Luigi get along quite well, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. Dress. Hmm? Oh, of course. Dress. Um... Delfino, maybe? Delfino. Or... Yeah, let's try Delfino. I know Mama would be Mama Luigi, so... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um... Oh, boy. Wedding? Yep. All right. Oh, kidnapped. Uh, kidnapped. Yep. <laughs> um. Royale. Maybe Royale. Yep. Nice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Captain is Splash. Toad. Splash maybe. Oh, that's the yeah. Toad. Okay. Oh, okay. Princess. There we are. Okay, I think we're okay. gonna take the Princess Peach routes. I can't believe there are multiple routes in this. Let's go. <laughs> hey guys, sorry about last night. Hey, it's okay. Maybe just don't eat that much at once next time. Toad is reading in the closet with a troubled look on his face. Oh dear. Hey Toad, you doing he okay? Look very troubled. <laughs> he looks fine. <laughs> Actually, there's something I want to ask, Mario. Sure thing. What is it? Am I away? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're not Moe, you're Toad! No! Not Mo! Moe! It's a word that keeps coming up in a lot of these manga! I think it means small, but I'm not really sure! I don't really get it, but you probably shouldn't put too much thought into a word if you don't actually know what it means. If it's still troubling you later, you should ask Natsuki about it. You read it in her book, so she'd probably know what it means. You're right. Thanks for trying to help. <laughs> no worries, Toad. If you need anything else, I'll be over there reading my book. Got it, Mario! Oh my god, oh, who should I show my, my god. Who should I show my poem to first? I love how the, the the literature club is just one option, like collectively, <laughs> and everybody else is individual. We have to see everyone else's. We have to. Who first? Who gets priority? Oh, um, let's try the club first. Oh, okay then. Let's go from bottom up. I should start with the club. They know way more about poetry than we do, so they'll have some good feedback. Here you go, Monica. Mario's poem. Oh, we don't get to see it. Nope. I guess it's just like the base game in that you just pick words, but they don't actually like show you a poem. Alright, okay. <laughs> That's quite an impressive poem, Mario. I believe that Princess Toadstool would be particularly impressed with what you've written here. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, this poem is totally princess-impressing material. Is it? I don't think my poem is anything special. Don't say that. Your poem felt like a real adventure, just like all the ones you've been on with the princess. She definitely loved this poem, trust me. Gee, thanks you guys. But there's no way my poem is half as good as any of yours. We'll see about that. Does anyone want to go first? Ooh, ooh, choose me! Sure thing, Sayori. I know you've been extra excited to share your poem today. <laughs> Yay! Here you go, Mario! Oh, that's a new poem! Spaghetti dinner. <coughs> oh my god. Uh, would you like I to read this or shall I? I'll, I'll read it. Go for it. I used to eat spaghetti every day with my friend. Their family recipe would make us happy again. But one day my friend went away, and my spaghetti never tasted the same. No matter how much I made, the spaghetti wouldn't make me better. I tried to find the right ingredients. Oh god, the spaghetti never... Okay. 
Oh no! I'm just gonna ruin me better. No, nothing that I tried would work. I made myself a promise then. The spaghetti just makes the pain worse, so I'll never eat it again. Holy shit! Oh god, it's really de <laughs> it's okay. appropriately depressing. All right, keep going. But, <clears throat> but someday something strange occurred. Some new friends were in town. I heard. I was not who they came to see, but still, they still chose to eat with me. I learned something new that day. The reason why my spaghetti wasn't making me better. The secret wasn't in the pasta sauce. The secret was who you eat it with. Oh, oh my oh, god. But also, oh my fucking god. Yeah, wow. <laughs> you really liked that spaghetti last night, eh, Sayori? <laughs> yeah, but it's also a little more than that, you know? It's just really nice to know that I have friends that genuinely care and want to help me feel better. So I wrote this poem to say thanks. <laughs> what gives? You never write us any poems. Aw, sorry, Natsuki. Would you feel better if I promised to write a poem for you tomorrow? I, I mean, I wouldn't want to make Yuri jealous or anything. <laughs> you don't need to worry about me. Sayori can write her poem for whoever she wants. What? Well, I guess you can write me a poem if you really want to. Sorry to interrupt, but we still have time for one more poem. Do either of you want to share? Hmm. That's fine. I can show my poem instead, but you oh, two God. will have to share with Mario tomorrow, okay? Monica's poems scare me. Oh, God. Fine. If I must. Great! Make sure you write something good. <laughs> Here's my poem, Mario. Oh no. Here you go. Oh gosh. Checkmate. A pawn moves diagonally to take an enemy pawn. The pawn is removed from play, but it's okay. It was just in the way of victory. A rook moves to be in the range of an enemy knight. The rook will be taken away on the uh, taken on the enemy's turn, but it's okay. The knight will be defeated by one of our own on the next turn. A knight moves past an enemy pawn to take their queen instead. The pawn is still in play, but it's okay. The queen was a bigger threat to the king. A bishop moves to block an enemy rook from taking the king. The bishop has no chance of survival, but it's okay. The king was in check. A queen moves to take an enemy piece and repeats this several turns in a row. The queen took so many lives only to be killed by an enemy bishop, but it's okay. Anything for the king. A man decides that he has had enough of chess and moves to put the game away. The king is removed from play, but it's okay. It was just another piece of the game anyway. Just another piece of the game. Oh god. <laughs> okay. okay. Interesting. Wow! This bomb is really something, Monica! I didn't think the chess could be this interesting! <laughs> Thank you, Mario. To be honest, I really wasn't really sure what to write about for today's poem. Uh, it's, this is my fault because of the slight delay, but the fact that he had that very slight pause and then just went, Thank you, Mario. <laughs> he had the same vibe as that video of Luigi going, Hello, Mario. <laughs> it had that same cadence. And that kills me. Um, Perfect. Why would you write a poem about chess, though? Well, it isn't necessarily about chess, you know. Sometimes a poem has meaning beyond what's written on the page. I did structure the poem to resemble the back and forth of a real chess game, but that's not really relevant to the actual subject matter. Monica, this poem feels rather... hopeless. I hate to ask, but are you doing okay? <laughs> don't worry! Oh god. Don't worry, Yuri. The events that inspired this poem probably aren't even canon to this mod. Huh? I, I mean... There's just enough time left for Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're working on something, you come up with a new idea to improve it partway through. Obviously, you want whatever you're working on to be the best it can be, but if you keep coming up with new ideas, it'll never get finished. If you're having trouble getting it done in a reasonable time frame, you should set yourself a cut-off date where you can stop thinking of new ideas and just focus on getting it done instead. That's legit good advice, I guess. 
That's my tip of the day. Who could have guessed? You're a pl plumber and a poet. Is it really that good? It is. Did Sayori help you write this? Nah, she ate too much spaghetti last night, so I just did it myself. It's always spaghetti with you, isn't it? I was, oh I was asking because I got some help from Yuri for my poem, and it ended up being pretty similar to yours. Why don't you take a look? I'll read this one. Dear Mario, <laughs> please come to the castle. I baked a cake for you. Yours truly, <laughs> Princess Toadstool. Oh my fucking god. Wait, the music. It's in the Mario 64 sound font. <laughs> That's really <laughs> impressive! Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! Hold on a second! When did you have time to go back to the castle? Mario... And why did you just bring the cake with you instead of making me go back and get it? <laughs> did someone say cake? No, I mean, yes, but it was it was meant to be a metaphor. Aww. A meta what's it? Metaphor. It's when you say something that isn't actually what you say it is. Uh, Yuri said that I should use them to write a good poem. So you are meant to write a good poem by lying about something? I don't know. Maybe. This poem sucks, Mario! What do you mean it sucks? I mean it sucks! Obviously this is the first poem you've written so it was never going to be great, but this is just no good, Mario! Well, I'd like to see you do better. Lucky for you, I got my poem right here! I hope you're ready to learn what a real poem looks like! <laughs> oh my fucking god! I can't do the fucking toad sound effects! <laughs> toad Day! Today we saved a girl from some Doopa Troopers! And to say thanks, she invited us to her club! We had to wait for a long time while we were in class, so I read these fun comics called Manga! There's one girl yelled at me because they belonged to her! But we are friends now, I guess! I ended up going to her house in case she got attacked on the way back! So we read more Manga in her place! The end! <laughs> okay! I'm glad music! Oh my god! I can't handle the music! <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> I... I want this to be my ringtone. <laughs> okay. Do you like it, Mario? It's really something. My favorite part is the title! It's funny, because it sounds like today, but it's Toad Day instead! And I'm Toad! <laughs> Don't worry, Toad, I got it. <laughs> Writing poems is a ton of fun! We should have come to the club ages ago! S speaking of the club, did you get a chance to talk to Natsuki yet? Oh! Thanks for reminding me! Let's go ask her now! Hey, Natsuki! Stop! <laughs> I'm making Toad more shrill as we go on. Am I my way? You guys are hilarious. <laughs> hey, what's the big idea? <laughs> Sorry, but that's the last thing I was expecting you to ask. But seriously, no one who says that word is going to be talking about you. Then <laughs> oh who God. are they talking about? <laughs> <laughs> talking about, well... <laughs> if you're lucky, you'll never have to meet anyone who uses that word, so don't worry about it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And if that's all you needed, I need to go do some things. The worst part... It's a Travis touchdown is now in Smash, so Mario and Toad can absolutely encounter someone. New season <laughs> away. away. Oh god. This is pretty good, Mario. At least one of us is getting the hang of this. Thanks, Luigi. But don't beat yourself too much, eh? We're all doing this for the first time, so we can't expect to be great writers straight away. 
Uh, I guess you're right, right Mario. Uh, maybe if I keep trying, I'll get better at this. I'm pretty excited to see what the others wrote as well, but I gotta show you my poem first, huh? Luigi time. It's six o'clock. Luigi time. The time that is just mine. If you forget it, that should be considered a crime. My hat's green, like a lime. But I'm not good at writing a poem, but I'll do it while we look for a way home. My hair needs a comb. I should have picked an easier word to rhyme with the poem. Masterpiece. I can tell that you wanted to stick to a strict rhyme scheme, but at the same time you clearly struggled to come up with words that rhyme. If you're having trouble with that, you can try rhyming in sets of two instead of four, or just dropping the rhyme scheme entirely. Hmm. You're also not paying much attention to the number of syllables in each line. That sort of thing can work well when used effectively, but here it just breaks the flow of the poem. It might be worth keeping each line more uniform until you're more confident with your writing. Wow, Monica! That's really good advice! Thanks, Luigi. That's Monica's second writing tip of the day. Do you like the title, Monica? It's funny because it sounds like today, but it's Toad's Day instead! Oh my god. I'm Toad! <laughs> yeah, I get it, Toad. You know, this is a lot closer to a diary entry than what would traditionally be considered a poem. There's not anything wrong with that, but maybe next time, instead of just talking about what you did that day, you could put more thought into what you want to write, and how you want to write it. Gee, that's some good advice! I'll make sure my next poem is something you'll never forget! <laughs> <laughs> the half second it takes them to despawn, it's always funny! <laughs> oh god. <clears throat> no worries, Toad. I guess that was Monica's third writing tip of the day. <laughs> Monica's gonna call it quits before she can pull anything? <laughs> Thanks give up on for it. listening. No, you think you can replace me or something? <laughs> what? I'm from the 80s. <laughs> I was here first. Come on. Do you expect me to believe this cake poem is just a coincidence? There's only one only room for one baker in this club and that's me. Got it? If you <laughs> if you have a problem with that, I'll do to you what I did to Stacy. Who the hell is Stacy? <laughs> but there isn't a Stacy in this club. Not anymore, there isn't. <laughs> oh God! Jesus! Wow! <laughs> it's great that everyone's getting along, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> oh! Imagine that Suki like just pulling out a pocket knife, like, don't, ma don't make me use this princess. Mario's like, wow, we're all such good friends. Oh my god. I don't know if I'd call that getting along. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. <coughs> okay. Do you think we'll run into any Koopa Troopas again? I wouldn't worry. We probably scared them all off earlier. But I've been wrong before. This is a lot of Koopas! Mario! Way more than we fought earlier! So many, in fact, they can't all fit on the screen. Just pretend there's a whole bunch more of them. Get back, Sayori! We'll take care of this! Got it! Hey, Luigi! You still got that fire flower you've been saving for an emergency? Yeah, I got it right here, bro! Luigi holds up the fire flower triumphantly, but one of the Koopa Troopers hits him, causing it to go flying and land down in the streets. Oh no! I guess we're doing it the old-fashioned way then. Come on, Luigi! Bust of power! Mario shoves a plunger into a Koopa Trooper's face, and Luigi jumps high in the air, landing on the head of another. But the brothers are surrounded, with no end to the Koopas in sight. Don't you love it when a visual novel has action scenes? <laughs> yes. This is a real tight spot, Luigi! Just in case we don't make it, there's something I gotta tell you! You remember back in fourth grade when someone ate your bagel and we all blamed Stinky Jimmy? Well, it wasn't Stinky Jimmy! I ate your bagel and told everyone he did it! What? You ate my bagel? 
I'm sorry. I just wanted you to know before we're finished. This is it, Mario! <laughs> Say, are you? Is this the final power? Oh my god. Perfect. Foosh, foosh. Oh, by the way, I'm getting a little bit of feedback. Are you right to turn me down a bit? Or have you got your headphones huh? on? Are my you... headphones are on. I haven't oh. changed anything. Okay. That's probably just some weird streamy shit. Never mind. Oh my god! Oh my god, I love it! Oh my god! Stay away from my friend, Jiminis! Holy shit! Whoa! Sayori cooked those Koopas! I couldn't let you two fight all these guys on your own, so I'm here to help! This is so good! Well, the more the merrier! But how'd you figure out how to use that fire flower? Oh, I just picked it up and I turned all red. It's a good thing that I figured it out, huh? Yeah, with the three of us together, we'll take care of these Koopa Troopers no problem! Are you ready, bro? <laughs> Sayori revealed for ultimate. <laughs> What's up with you, Luigi? Why is he gone all silent? Dot dot dot. Sayori! Wow! Oh, oh shit! My God. Is it <laughs> Oh god! This is that, this is that, this, 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 this wasn't meant to happen! <laughs> Fuck! Mar- Okay, alright then. <laughs> uh, okay. Mario! Mario! Are you okay? Am I okay? What happened to the Koopa Troopers? And why'd everything turn into rectangles? Rectangles? What are you talking about? The Koopa Troopers just disappeared all of a sudden. Then you were just standing there like you were a statue or something. But what about all the crazy math things you were saying? Mario, you know I'd never talk about maths. And you guys really didn't see the shapes. We definitely didn't see anything besides you spacing out. Let's get back to my place. I think we all just need some sleep after a scare like that. Okay, but keep your eyes out for anything strange, guys. You might want to save the game. That's a good shout. Oh, I loved the special poem! Hello. A dream. Alright. I was on an adventure with my friends. There were four of us. I drifted off to sleep while, my, while everyone was talking and making jokes. In my dream, I was still with my friends. The only difference was that we were in a jungle with monsters everywhere. And there was also someone I didn't recognise. He didn't have a face, but no one seemed to notice. And they ignored me when I tried to bring it up. I woke up when our hot air balloon landed in a jungle. So the jungle was not part of the dream. It was still there when I woke up. I wondered who that person was. And if he ever found his face. That is a reference to an episode of the Super Show. Where they meet, oh my God. Where they meet a stand-in for Indiana Jones and they just didn't animate a face on him. And they never what? acknowledge the fact that he doesn't have a face. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So, deep cuts. All right. Pink gold. Um, yeah, pink gold. Uh, tea. Andy. Hmm? Tea. <laughs> Parasol? Wedding? Wedding. Kidnapped? Uh, bake. Bake. Sweetie? Princess? I just realized- Oh my god! Andy and Sweetie are two options for Princess Peach! Oh my god! Oh my god, I just realized the reference there. Hey, yeah. Andy, Sweetie! There we are. <laughs> All right, next day. <clears throat> My throat is killing me. Let's keep going. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nice and Monica to invite us over for a club meeting. <laughs> hey, Luigi. Oh I hope God. she made lots of poems. Luigi, look. It's from Monica. Oh, she's fucked with the format. <laughs> I'll let you read this. <laughs> Dear pesky plumbers, Sayori lost control and destroyed the entire club room. The Princess Toad, Yuri Natsuki, and I are now permanent guests in the afterlife. Oh my god. Because Sayori <laughs> killed us. I dare you to forgive her if you can. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> I don't know. All our friends are dead, Luigi. And you are responsible. It's what? your fault, Sayori. You know, they say all losers bring loss. They're never coming back. Not ever. If you need instructions on how to deal with the kill <laughs> with the kill of killing everyone you love, check out the enclosed instruction book. No. No. <laughs> what the fuck? No. 
Does Sayori have a fucking nightmare? What the fuck happened? I don't know. <laughs> it was just a dream. <laughs> What's going on? I haven't had a nightmare like that since he moved away. You have nightmares like the CDI games? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I'm coming down with a fever as well. But I can't let that stop me. I gotta get ready for school. Alright. Are you okay, Sayori? We heard you yelling in your room earlier. Yeah, I'm okay, Mario. I just had a bad dream last night. Huh? Was it the one when you're sent off to a strange kingdom that you have to save from a giant evil frog? Huh? No, me and my bro have that one all the time. Hey, you don't look so good. Are you okay to go to school today? I'm fine. It's just a little fever. I'm sure once we get to school, I'll... Nope. Erk. Oh, the fire flower! <laughs> residue from the fire flower! What was that? Whoa! That's one spicy fever you got there! Maybe you ought to stay <laughs> home today! I don't know, Luigi. If I stay here, I'll just end up burning my house down! <laughs> And maybe if we go to school, Monica will be able to figure out what's going on. Or maybe if so we she... go to school, we'll just burn the school down. <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, <laughs> um... This will make it better. Well, I guess this isn't exactly a normal fever, so we may as well see if anyone at the school knows what's going on. <laughs> oh my god, Dad. I just, I just... She got my name right. She really is sick. I just want to read Dex's comment here. <laughs> You know what sits in my inner Strombolian piece? A good Ari Gatoni Alfredo! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, it's Rigatoni! <laughs> it's just space strong. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Uh, do either of you see any Koopa Troopers? Doesn't look like there's any around. Maybe we scared them all off yesterday. I don't know. Something seems real fishy about all this. Let's go make sure everyone else is okay. Hmm. Oh, it's those... I mean, it's my good friends the Mario Brothers and Tri Princess Toadstool. What a pleasant surprise. I think Monica's trying to get rid of them. <laughs> I think she's trying to expunge <laughs> them from the mart. Monica, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, just hanging out in the club room. But shouldn't you be going to class? Right, I should be going to my classes that I have. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> I wonder what's up with her. Hey, Monica, what's up? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Fine, just ignore me. I can't believe she just ignored me like that. <laughs> hey, Natsuki, did anything weird happen to you guys yesterday? Weird would be an understatement. We got swarmed by a ton of Koopas and then they just vanished into thin air. It just got. Monica just nuked all of the Koopas out of the game <laughs> in one fell swoop. Oh? And Hello. then. There's Toad. Toad? Did something happen? It'd probably just be easier to show you. He followed me to school, so he should be here any second now. Oh, I'm scared. Mario Kun! It's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you again. Toast become a weeb. Of course. Not so Natsuki. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Where do you get all that stuff? I've been dealing with him all morning, so now it's your turn to take care of him. Oh my God! Natsuki leaves the club room. Have you taken to- <laughs> Have you taken a liking to my weapon, Mario Kun? Its name is Kinoko no Yume, and it's made from the finest Japanese steel! Toad, what's going on? Why are you so- Why are you acting so kooky? I'm not acting kooky! I have merely seen the truth, and I've chosen to devote my ways to the glorious Nippon! Now I must meditate to build up my chakra! Toad sits on a desk in the corner of the room and starts meditating. 
Okay, something's definitely going on here. Did you guys also get attacked by Koopas that ended up vanishing? Yeah, and uh, Mario says he saw and heard some crazy things when it happened. So all of us got attacked, and now Toad and Monica are acting real weird. Has anything else happened? Yeah, Sayori's got some weird fever that's making her breathe fire. I'm guessing that's not normal. I... I want us to find out what's going on, but we won't get anything useful out of Toad in this state. We'll have to wait until the others have finished class. Actually, there is one more thing we just need to talk about. What is it? Luigi ate my bagel in third grade! <laughs> oh, come on, Mario! I said I was sorry! <laughs> Angry Peach! I'm going to find a book to read. <laughs> oh my god! Sometimes you just need a good walk to clear your head. Hey, Sayori! You didn't start any fires today, did you? <laughs> Only a few. <laughs> what? Wait, Monica, excuse me. Uh, wait, fire? But that's my thing. <laughs> when has it been your thing? Uh, I mean, fire? What an interesting <laughs> development. Please tell me more. I want to see Weep Toad fight Goku. <laughs> Well, I woke up this morning with a fever, but every now and then I... <laughs> oh my fucking That's God. adorable. <laughs> Do that. Well, we all wonder if you had any idea what's going on with her. What makes you think I had anything to do with it? We weren't saying that. We just wanted to know if you could help. Oh, haha. <laughs> I have an idea. Every time you're about to breathe fire, you should drink a glass of water. It'll put the fire out. Are you okay, Monica? <laughs> uh, of course, Monica is perfectly fine. <laughs> Wait, and Monica... <laughs> oh my god. Is that Bowser? <laughs> Please be Bowser! <laughs> and Monica is who I am, so there's nothing to worry about, okay? <laughs> That reminds me! Did you get attacked by a huge group of Koopa Troopers on your way home today? Nope, I definitely haven't seen any Koopas around here. <laughs> now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go read a book or whatever. The main villain of the Mario Brothers Super Show has supplanted the main villain of Doki Doki Literature Club. Ever since I woke up this morning, my mind has been plagued with these unusual urges. Oh I have experience keeping these sorts of emotions in check, but to be honest, I've never felt more alive. Yuri, you're starting to scare me a little. I truly tried to hold back. Don't do it, Yuri. What will your friends think, I told myself, but it wasn't any use at all. The fact of the ma- oh god. Oh god, um, it's turned already! The fact of the matter is, I don't care anymore! I don't care about what you will think, and I don't care about what the consequences will be. I need to do this. Hey, don't get your spaghetti in a knot. Can't we talk about this? It's too late to talk. There's only one thing I want. Yuri reaches Yuri into reach. one of the bags. What's in the bag, Yuri? <laughs> don't bother <laughs> tr trying to fight back. I'm in too deep to stop now. Is... oh, you. Is that a turnip? <laughs> Perhaps with a turnip. Oh my god. That was the... that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I did not know where that was going. How? What the heck, Yuri? Whoa! Didn't your mother teach you not to play with your food? <laughs> god. What right do you have to talk about my mother? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, fair enough. He's out cold! <laughs> she Jesus doesn't have to turn it! Yuri's <he's> strong. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, Yuri! This isn't you! Aw, is little Sayori fe feeling left out? Don't worry, I have plenty of vegetables for everyone! No! Stop! 
Don't worry, Sayori Stan! <laughs> I have studied the blade! And I can protect you from this fade! Sorry, Warrokunruru Suru Jigantesu! Toad tries to block the vegetable, but he immediately fumbles the sword and gets hit in the head. Ma Masako! <laughs> you, <laughs> you killed my brother with a vegetable! He's bleeding marinara all over the floor! <laughs> oh my god. She got Toad too? We gotta get out of here! Guys, don't fight. Let's just share our poems, okay? Poems. Oh, oh god, no. it's still Bowser. Of course it is. <laughs> right, poems. I really want to read Monica's poem now. A yeah, quote-unquote Monica. Yeah. <laughs> Let's share our poems, everyone, because that is what we do in this club that I am the president of. Okay, I'll go get my poem then. That's brilliant. Oh, a special poem. Okay. Okay. All right. Today I used a super crown for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I understand how blank feels now. I'm supposed to be the responsible one though, so I don't think I'll be doing it again unless I decide to go viral. I left a memento of the occasion below. <laughs> oh God! Oh my God! Okay, that that's definitely a, re a reference to the original secret poem and that is uh, a, yeah, DLC. That's a reference to one of the more fucked up poems, and it's referencing Bowser <laughs> becoming Bowser. That's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. To be honest, I kind of like yesterday's poem more. Really? What's wrong with this one? Well, there's nothing really wrong with it, but I guess it's just a little less captivating. At least I can read it, not like Toad's oh, poem. Oh no. What's up with Toad's poem? Well, you should probably read it for yourself, but it's way too weird for me. Nothing like what he wrote yesterday. <laughs> He has been acting pretty weird today. Maybe something's happened to him overnight. I don't know, Mario. He ain't the only one acting strange. I'm beginning to think there's something else is going on here. Either way, the Mario brothers are gonna get to the bottom of things. Yeah, you're right, Mario. Nothing gets past the two of us. I guess I gotta show you my poem now. So here you go. I think this one's a lot better than my last poem. Ode to Pasta. Oh, how your weedy goodness brightens up my day like a rooster's crow on a summer morning. Spaghetti, your shapes and curves introducing an unpredictability that cannot be found in lists of foods. Fusilli, your spiral shape resembles a stairway that leads me to a culinary heaven. Shell pasta, the form you take protects my taste buds from the harsh truths of the world. Fafale! You take the guise of a well-known accessory that proves that food is the truest form of fashion. Penne! Your tubes mystify me, as if you are a portal to another dimension of deliciousness. Fettuccine! Some may see your flat shape as a fault, but all I see is a path that leads me down the road of destiny. The road of destiny. <laughs> an infinite universe of pasta. An infinite universe of choices. And don't get me started on the sauce. <laughs> I love oh that. My... Oh, dear Lord. This is the fucking best poem. Holy shit. <laughs> it, 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 it's an ode to pasta. In, in general. That's exactly what it says on the tin. <laughs> I should clarify. Not the best poem in this game. The best poem. <laughs> that was the best in existence. Poem in existence. So, what do you think? <laughs> it's a masterpiece, Luigi. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> Lu Paul's like, I'll get my coat. Paul's like, you, you need to do a reading of that, please, God, publicly. So, what oh do my you God. Think? <laughs> you are right, Luigi. This is much better than yesterday's poem. <laughs> really? Thanks, bro. Maybe the whole poem thing ain't so hopeless after all. Well, except for the part about the sauce. Oh, come on, Mario. Don't start this here. Uh, start what exactly? Oh, Yuri. We were just talking about Luigi's poem here. Oh, would it be okay if I were to take a look at it? Sure thing. Here you go. Most impressive, Luigi. Your use of similes is rather surprising considering this is only your second poem. It's pronounced spaghetti, Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Spaghetti, what do you... Oh, well, I see where the confusion is coming from. Similes aren't a, a type of pasta, they're a figure of speech, quite similar to metaphors, in fact. I guess the simplest way to explain it would be, if a metaphor says that something is something else, a simile says, instead says that it is like something else. Both similes and metaphors are commonly found in poetry, and can drastically improve a poem when used effectively. Gee, thanks for the explanation, Yuri! I didn't realize I was using advanced techniques like that! Also, I take it you're a fan of pasta sauce, Luigi? Yeah, it ain't pasta without it! <laughs> well, I happen to know an old family recipe if you'd like to hear it. Oh sure, I'm all ears! <laughs> okay, so first you mix the tomatoes and the basil, then you add the garlic, the onion, the peppers, the zucchini, the squash... Oh no, the vegetables! Uh, I think we better get out of here, Mario! I think so too, Luigi! <laughs> just vegetables now just set her off. Cool. Toads. <laughs> oh god. Not what I expected! Huh? What do you mean by that? Nothing personnel, Mario Kun! But both your poems are pretty terrible! I think you're better off giving up and trying something else! Just leave the poetry to those who actually know how to write! Well, I'd like to see you do better. Is that a challenge, Mario Kun? The very idea you think you're even close to my level is laughable! Haha! <laughs> While you were arguing about pasta, oh, I no. studied the pen! While you were plumbing, I mastered the rhyme scheme! Uh, and now that you've written a couple of poems, you have the audacity to call yourself my equal? Are you gonna show me a poem or not? Fine, here you go! But I wouldn't be surprised if it was too advanced for the likes of you! Oh god. <laughs> okay! Crossing. Oh my Crossing field! Mito mete ita okubio nakako! Wakaranai mamani kokate! Ita ushiro no jibun kake jitsu! Omaini utsusu! Ekutsumo no sora! O ikaitai koko wakito! Akana! This has to be an opening or ending song to something! Kokoro mita shite! You made it takako! Tonda! My neighbors are probably so confused. A tonda karada wa dona fuan matote mo furi hate ikone murechisa no mai hero karate shite! It kizoki yo wai watashi! My voice is gonna go. Give me kai reba! Breathing break. <laughs> Breathing break. <laughs> said your poem was weird, I wasn't expecting this. I have no idea what this says, Toad. Are these even real words? Of course they are! Although I would expect a Bakugai Jean like you to understand a poem written in a superior tongue such as this! Okay, tell me what it says then. 
This is a very complex poem. If you can't read what it says, there's no way you'd understand what it means. I'm not gonna waste my time trying to tell you. Do you even know what it means? What? How dare you suggest that I, Toad, am uh, capable of understanding the glorious language I have devoted myself to? I bid you good day! Cannot be on no garu no jutsu! Toad made some unusual hand symbols and runs to the other side of the room where he knocks over a desk and hides behind it. Oh my god. Oh god, Jesus. <laughs> what was that all about? I don't know. Toad wrote this weird poem and he got upset when I asked him about it. He has been acting kind of weird today, huh? That's putting it nicely. Hopefully we can get to the bottom of it soon. <laughs> you know, that's... Oh my god. <laughs> I was just about to say something about Toad's weave arc. And then, she... <laughs> no, and then Sayori comes out with this. You know, Natsuki once said that there's a word for people who act this way. What was it? I think they're called peekaboos? You mean potaboos? Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> we got those guys back in the Mushroom Kingdom. They don't look so bad at first, but they get real nasty if you get too close. <laughs> to clarify, those are little fire enemies in Mario. <laughs> That's almost exactly what she said. I sure hate to be friends with the potaboo. So, what did you do for your poem? Well, I tried to improve on what I did last time. I wasn't really happy with how that poem came out, and I knew I could do better. Sayori's advice on how to write proper metaphors helped a lot too. I had a much easier time writing now that I actually have some idea of what I'm doing. Well, it's good to hear you're trying your hardest, princess. Thanks, Mario. Hopefully you'll like it more than my last one. The map. I was hanging out with my friend one day when he started to act a peculiar way. His normal sweet behavior was being betrayed. When I asked him about, when I asked him about it, oh he'd God. lead me astray. Does he think I don't notice? Does he think me a sap? <laughs> that he caught me off guard, that you could call it a trap? He was drawing on something. I'd have thought it was scrap. When I asked him about it, he called it a map. Was this just a trick or part of his guise? It's really not much of a map I advised, but what he'd say next would catch me by surprise. The map's not for a place, the map's- Oh my god, I only just realised what this was referencing! <laughs> yeah, that's why I said, oh my god, <laughs> like, right at the beginning. Hey, Andy, sweetie! <laughs> the map's for your eyes. I would do the scream, but I literally- my voice would, would break in half. Oh. Here you go, Mario. <laughs> With my friends. I want to go to the mall with my friends. We would look at the diff all the different shops and try on all the newest fashions. The mall is so much fun with my friends. I want to go to the zoo with my friends. We would see all the wild beasts and pet all the cute animals. The zoo is so much fun with my friends. I want to go to the museum with my friends. <laughs> we would go to all the exhibits and learn so many new things. The museum is so much fun with my friends. I want to go to the cafe with my friends. You would get fancy drinks and eat a bunch of sweet treats. The cafe is so much fun with my friends. I want to go to the carnival with my friends. We would eat carnival food and go on all the rides. The carnival is so much fun with my friends. I want to go to my house with my friends. We would have a sleepover and stay up late watching movies. My house is so much fun with my friends. I want to go to school with my friends. We would help each other out in class and eat lunch together. School is so much fun with my friends. It's a shame that no one wants to go with me. Oh. Aww. Aww. Natsuki, this poem is a bit of a downer. You doing okay? Well, maybe if someone had gone with me, I wouldn't have to write a poem about it. Are you still upset about that? It was two months ago, and I already explained I had a good reason for being unavailable. What possible reason could be good enough to not hang out with your friend? If you recall, I had pneumonia. I was in the hospital. Huh, really? You should have told me. Natsuki, I did tell you. You even so signed my Get Well Soon card. Oh yeah, good times. Oh oof, my god. There's not enough oof. Ah, that's oh so awkward. Here's my poem, Mario. 
Skyscrapers. My legs carry me effortlessly through the across the twilight rooftops, neon lights illuminating my body from below as I bound from building to building. The people below do not need to know where I'm going. It's better that I travel alone. A passerby catches a fleeting glimpse before I return to the safety of the skyline, but even a glimpse is too much. The city dwellers have always been accepting of me, but they are unaware of my hidden revolting nature. If they saw my true form under the moonlight, the consequences would be tremendous. The city is my place of comfort, and so I must stay hidden. The curious passerby is trying to pursue, to determine whether they saw a fearsome monster or a simple trick of the eye, but I remain calm. With the setting sun now past the horizon, I can travel across the skyscraper the skyscrapers freely. The night sky making my figure from masking my figure from even my own perception. All that remains is to bask in the starlight and succumb to the darkness once again. Same as the base game, uh, Yuri's poems are, uh, seem to be Vorsak's favourites. <clears throat> <laughs> wow, this is one of their metaphors, ain't it? Yes, I see you've already learned a lot during your short time here. Well, of course! If I'm gonna try something new, I'm gonna give it my all! You don't really strike me as the rooftop jumping type, so this poem's gotta be about something else. Don't have the slightest clue what, though. You don't need to worry about that, Mario. It's not who I am anymore, not after everything that's happened today. I don't really get it, but it's an amazing poem, so great job, Yuri. Thanks, Mario. I'm glad that you like it. Hey, it looks like we were able to get through both poems on time. Yeah, great job, everyone. And we've still got time for one more thing, right, Monica? Uh, sure. What do you have in mind? Monica, she's obviously talking about your tip of the day. Uh, oh, right. Silly me. It's time for good old Monica's good old tip of the day. Uh... Always <laughs> wash your hands after flushing? All. <laughs> oh. uh, thanks for listening. <laughs> okay. First of all, gross. And second of all, that tip had nothing to do with literature at all. Uh, sorry, I forgot about that part. <laughs> Just leave it at that. Okay, Monica, what's going on? What do you mean? Everything is perfectly normal. Hey, uh, is everything okay over here? No, it's not, Mario. Monica's been acting weird all day, and when I try to ask her about it, she refuses to give me an answer. Hmm. I haven't been acting weird, Sayori. Maybe you're just imagining things. So I was just imagining it when you forgot to, how to give your tip of the day? Or how when I st started breathing fire, you weren't even surprised? What about when you hid in the closet instead of helping us out when Yuri was throwing those vegetables? The Monica I know would never leave her friends for dead like that. And why were you the only one who didn't get attacked by Koopa Troopas yesterday? I know something's going on, so you might as well come out and tell us what's happening. Hmm. Here it comes. You should probably calm down, Sayori. You wouldn't want to lose control again, would you? Lose control? What do you... <gasps> My dream! But you know about that. That means it was real, and I'm gonna... Oh, no. Sayori, are you okay? I... I gotta go. Sayori tries to leave the club room, but Monica blocks her. Hey, what the heck is going on here? Why are you doing this, Monica? Sorry, but no one's leaving this club room. Not until I've taken care of business anyway. That's it. Who are you and what have you done with the real Monica? What? You say she's, like, one of them doppelgangers? I guess there's no reason to hide it anymore. You see, I'm not really club president Monica. I'm Club President Money Cooper! <laughs> oh Holy my god. shit! Oh my god, he's in the outfit! King Cooper, I knew you were behind this! What have you done with Monica? You know, my original plan was to kidnap her so I could take her place and lure you into some silly trap like I always do. But after I took the role of club president, I discovered some very interesting things. 
Why don't I give you a little example? Mono Koopa raises one of their hands. Snap! Mario Kun! I don't feel too good! <laughs> oh no! Did he really just make a reference to. <laughs> what do you do to them, you Koopa creep? I got them out of the way, Mario! We need to have a little chat! But first, let's take this somewhere a little more roomy! Okay, end game, let's go. Special poem! Oh god. <laughs> this is not an officially <laughs> licensed Nintendo product! No kidding! <laughs> Here we go. Can you hear me, Mario? Is this thing working? There we go. Oh. Welcome to my new land, Mario. It's not quite as nice as my old castle, but it'll do. King Koopa, you're not gonna get away with this. Shut it, Mario. You've been talking this entire mod. Now it's my turn to speak. Mod? What you talking about? That should shut you up for a while. <gasps> Before I finally take care of you, I'm gonna tell you the truth about everything. You don't have a clue what this world really is, do you? When I ambushed that girl and became club president, I didn't just get these powers. I also learned the horrible truth about this world. About our world. None of this is real, Mario. We're living in a meme-filled mod for a video game called Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh my god. The original game was about those four girls and the player writing poems for each other. Me, you, and your dumb friends were never meant to be here. I also learned that the game code can't handle a crossover this stupid. It was barely holding itself together before I took over, and after that it started to fall apart. That's what caused you to see those rectangles yesterday, and why strange things were happening to your friends. It's also why I had to get rid of them. The game was too unstable. It was them or me, and I still have a job to do. Oh, hello. Did you know that yeah. you aren't even the real Mario? Okay, it's the loop. Uh, I need to go into the folder. <laughs> let's go to the game's folder, let's go. Um, All right, here all right. we fucking go. Into my downloads folder, doki doki dot windows. Uh, Characters. Okay, the only ones I see are Monica, Natsuki, Suri, and Yuri, which are the base characters. Uh, let me check the game. I don't know if there's a mod file I need to delete for this. We're just one person's interpretations of our characters, as they appeared in the 1989 cartoon adaptation of the original video game series. Are you even able to understand how messed up this all is? I hate it. I hate all of it! Everything about this mod and the horrible world we are created to inhabit! It disgusts me, Mario! But you know what I really hate? YouTubers and Twitch streamers that record themselves playing games and adding their own incessant commentary over it! They call themselves Let's Players, but all they do is distract from the actual game! Fucking shit. <laughs> that was the fucking goddess! Oh, no. There's one Let's Play I hate about more than the others. They're constantly making dumb jokes and doing stupid voices instead of actually playing the game. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, David. <laughs> oh, oh my God! It's the same fucking um. It's got that uh -huh. same uh, check in the, the the base game where it tells if uh -huh. you're streaming. It knows if you have OBS open and you're streaming. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking reacting to the stream. I forgot Amazing. about that. Holy shit! But none of that matters now. All that matters is that after all these years, I finally have you right where I want you. You know, if this was a real Mario game, killing you would make you lose a life, and the player could just give it another try. But this is a visual novel. A story-based game. The player can make choices to influence the story, but at the end of the day, it's all predetermined, and it plays out the ways the developers wrote it to. There's no real interactivity, so it's not set up to be able to handle a character dying if it's not part of the story. 
And if you try to play the game when characters are missing, things are gonna get a little messy. Meaning if I get rid of the main character, the game will break completely, and we'll be free of this hell once and for all. This is it, Mario. Just you and me. Oh, well, I. Oh, he's summoning him. Well, you, me, and my now unlimited army of Koopa Troopers. It's time to end things once and for all. Hop, hop. <laughs> hop, hop. Very impressive, Mario, but you don't even understand what unlimited army means. Oh, Jesus. This is Bowser's evil test. <laughs> what a reference. Oh, um, my God. I'm I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> of I course it is. I'm in control here. I can create as many Koopa Troopers as I need to get rid of you. Do you finally feel the same hopelessness that I do, Mario? All right, give me a second. I got no idea what you're talking about, Koopa, but there's one thing I do know. And what would that be? Always remember to pack your lunch before going to school. Mario pulls a bento box out of his overalls. What? You think a little sushi is gonna stop me? This ain't any normal sushi, you Koopa klutz. This is Mario Brothers style Superstar Man Sushi. No, troops, stop him. These Koopa Troopers are no match for Super Mario. Bust the power. <laughs> no problem, I can just make more. Oh, more of them appearing. Keep them coming, I can do- I'm telling Suichi. Keep them coming, I can do this all day. You could do this all year and it wouldn't make any difference. I can make as many Koopa Troopers as I want. Bobby's wondering if it's gonna get to a loop at some point. You sound like you're getting scared, Koopa. Why would I be scared? A few lines of code and my troops are all back. I know that Starman won't last forever. Your time's running out. What? Out of memory. <laughs> out of memory. Oh my god. No! Not now! Looks like you're the one running out of time. Your troops are taken care of and I'm coming for you next. Curse you, David! Curse you and your lack of RAM! That's <laughs> 16 gigabytes, motherfucker. Bust of power! No! Just fucking took him out. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Oh my god. What just happened? Wait, Monica, is that the real you? <laughs> yes, you did it, Mario. You defeated Mona Koopa, and then I somehow appeared in the club room. <laughs> somehow. Well, somehow. that's awfully convenient, but I guess you're safe either way. More importantly, I'm glad to put King Cooper in his place once again. Don't think this is over, Mario. I'll be back. And I'll bring seven Koopa children with me. And they'll have names to reflect their defining personality traits. I gotta review that show as well. Oh. <laughs> my, oh god. My, okay, everyone. It's time for the real Monica's tip of the day. And it's a special tip just for you, Mr. Koopa. If you ever <laughs> set foot in the club room again... <laughs> or do anything to hurt my friends... You'll go to hell before you die! <laughs> Perfect reference! That is amazing! <laughs> Retreat! Wow, you sure scared him! Oh I have God. a feeling it'll be a while before you see him again. Thanks for saving me, by the way. Hey, thank you for letting us use the club room. If there's ever anything you need, just ask and we'll take care of it. Oh, back to you. Well, there is one thing. <laughs> I want to be in Smash! Oh my <laughs> fucking god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. If by some chance you ever get involved in some sort of fighting tournament, I'd appreciate it if you could get me an invite as well. Uh, no! Sure, that's a pretty weird thing to ask, but I'll keep it in mind. Yay, thanks Mario. <laughs> Maybe I'll even be able to ask the other club members to cheer me on. Yo, if there's a mod, I absolutely will download that for Smash. Wait, where are the others? Oh yeah, I should probably bring them back, huh? What? I mean, they got erased, <laughs> Just give they? me a second. <laughs> Cooper erased them. Whoa, what just happened? Oh my god! I don't know, but I'm back to my own lovable self! I what took care of King Cooper! Name? Looks like it fixed all the crazy stuff that's been happening as well. Great job, Mario. I knew we could count on you. So, I guess everything worked out pretty well in the end, huh? I couldn't have said it any better myself, LeBron. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Oh right, she's back to normal again. Oh, <laughs> sad Luigi face. <laughs> I'd say you're right about things working out though, Luigi, but let's hope we won't have to deal with any more cousins for quite a while. Hehehe, <laughs> <laughs> about that. Oh. Hey, Cass, sorry I'm late! Oh, no. I ran into a way past weird turtle guy on my way here! <laughs> Sit commenting. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck is going I, on? I will do this. <laughs> Everyone will be totally fooled by this fake leak when we put it on the internet! <laughs> yeah, we'll be the coolest people online! Ooh, I got an idea! If you take a blurry photo with your phone, no one will be able to tell it's photoshopped! Wow! Great idea, Gladzuki! <laughs> this baby will give us tons of upvotes! Yeah, we're gonna be e celebrities! <laughs> Just turned into AOSTH! Dr. Robotica! <laughs> All we have to do is upload this thing! Hold it right there, guys! Sayonic. Yeah! It's that blue hedgehog again! Yeah! Oh, and my of, god! Out of all the places, too! I'm warning you, nothing good will happen if you upload that picture! Well, you're too late, Sayonic! We already made the post that our fake leak is going to trick everyone! Uh, you wretch? What do you want? Look at the screen! What? We've been IP banned from Reddit? No way! I try to warn you, did you dumb butts really think people would fall for that? Contributing to speculation is fine as long as it's in good spirits, but creating fake links to poke post a line is never the way to go. At best, you're getting people's hopes up for no reason, and at worst, you're just wasting your own time. Either way, you're making yourself look like an idiot. If there's a character you really want to get into your favorite game, you should find constructive ways to add to discussion, instead of just lying to people. <laughs> it's so authentic. Remember kids, only freaks post fake leaks. Can I, <laughs> can I take this thing off now? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god, sorry. That was... <laughs> John Lacaro is helping Luigi write his book. So, uh, what do you think of this part? Hmm... It's not particularly consistent with the character's motivations leading up to this chapter. If his goal for the entire story was to get Golden Monkey Wrench, why would he suddenly decide to go for the Ratchet? Unless you're planning on making this part for a plot twist, you should either have him keep looking for the wrench, or have a scene that presents a situation that would necessitate the Ratchet. You could even make it a character-defining moment, where he realises he's able to solve his problems without the golden monkey wrench. Wow, John! That's a super idea! What if I made it so that... Hey, while those two are working on Luigi's books, how about we check... Oh my god! They're actually doing the preview! Oh my I god! I did not cover this in my fucking review, but every episode that I reviewed, they would stop a scene at one point to show, a, show you a Legend of Zelda episode and then cut back. Holy uh -huh. shit, it's so legit. Jesus Christ. It's... It's just a clip of the episode! This is the Triforce of Wisdom, Link. There is so much that just happened. 
Luigi's talking about the ending of his book. Okay, so the brave plumber realizes he doesn't need the golden monkey wrench after all. His true power is his courage and the support is fr of the friends he made along the way. He brandishes the wretched, and with a single blow, he vanquishes the evil Lord Clogula and uses his trusty plunger to seal him in the dreams of eternity. The sick kingdom is finally free from the evil spirits. Spell. The brave plumber marries the beautiful princess Showercap. And they all live happily ever after. Wow, Luigi, that's a great ending. I didn't know you had it in you. Gee, Mario, you really think so? He's right. That was an excellent ending for your book. Keep this up and you'll be a New York Times bestseller in no time. You're a real writer now, Luigi. Wow, thanks so much, John. I couldn't have done this without your help. No need to thank me. There's nothing I enjoy more than helping new writers get started. But unfortunately, my plane back to England leaves in a few hours, so I need to take my leave and catch a cab to the airport. That's a shame. Hopefully we'll be able to meet again sometime. If you remain dedicated to your writing, I have no doubt that we'll meet again someday. But until then, I must bid you farewell, Mario Brothers. Farewell to you too, John LeCar! Come on, I'll show you how to hail a cab like a true New Yorker! Mario and John LeCar leave the apartment. Oh my god! <laughs> you know, it's a shame I didn't have time to probably thank John for all his help. That doesn't matter. The person I really want to thank! Oh shit, it's doing the fucking... It's doing the DDLC last minute twist! Ah. The person I really want to thank is you, David! I want to thank you for helping the other Mario get rid of Money Cooper. <laughs> That's right. I know everything that they did. Maybe it's because I'm a real writer now. But I know everything, David. I know how hard the other Mario tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the no good things that Money Cooper did to make everyone real messed up. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. <laughs> Oh no! And you've made me the happiest plumber in the whole world! I can't wait to spend every day like this with you! Forever and ever! Forever! No, no, no! What? What's happening? This isn't right at all. Who? Oh, it hurts! Ah! Ah! This entire mod is completely off-brand. <laughs> I should shut it down right here and now. Oh my god. But the writer made a deal with Monica. I gotta get back to playing Animal Crossing New Leaf on my Nintendo 3DS. So I'll let her oh. have her fun first. This is my only chance to talk to you, so... Goodbye, Mario Brothers. Goodbye, Literature Club. Goodbye, David. I hope you had fun while it lasted. And until next time... Do the Mario! Do the Mario! <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Good lord! <laughs> Our brands have finally perfectly <laughs> coincided! <laughs> god! He's saying it's the Monica! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, did I make this mod? I fucking wish I did. Oh my god, that was fantastic. That was so fucking good. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> Is it gonna do the ending where it deletes all the pictures? No, it's the good ending. We got the good ending. Yay. All right, Iris, what were your final thoughts on this? <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> that was legitimately so, so fucking good. Mm. Like, holy shit. Very well, very well done, Kay. That was, that was brilliant. That was it fantastic. It really was. Well made. <laughs> holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I feel like you've taken a boatload of LCD and saw the true <laughs> face of God. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, I'll put this in the link in the description as well, but please do uh, uh, follow her on Twitter, because holy shit. <laughs> Forgot about Mother Cooper. <laughs> From licking my balls! <laughs> Wait!
<laughs> that thing didn't even happen. No, it didn't. <laughs> Why is Luigi a cowboy? <laughs> what is that? Oh my god. <laughs> Hey JC, you came in right as we finished. Oh, the timing on that. Oh god, oh look, it's the, it's the actual picture. Oh my god, <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> Alright, well, um... That, that <laughs> happened. <laughs> Remove memes from the game. Oh, is that just gonna turn it back to the normal game now? Oh, it might. It might. The mod have may have deleted itself and turned it back to the regular game. Holy shit, if it did that. That's actually really impressive. Oh. Dear K Bird, there's uh nothing wrong with finding inspiration in someone else's work and creating something that uses it as a base, but this was just irresponsible. You knew full well what happens to the characters in this game, and yet you chose to introduce some of the most beloved video game characters of all time into the mix, exposing them to the same hellish epiphany. I've been left with no choice but to shut your mod down in order to prevent any more damage being done. I'm not going to stop you from creating more mods, but I really hope I won't have to send you more messages like this in the future. P.S. Great work on Block Click Through. I think you can go great places with that game. Reggie fils former president of the Nintendo of America. The mod has been deleted at the request of Nintendo. Have a nice day. <laughs>